Hello and welcome back for more Terraria Expert Mode. So while we were away, I went ahead offline and did some things to get ready for this fight. I went and got a nice DPS meter and stopwatch from the traveling merchant who stopped by while I was getting ready. There was also an extendo grip as well, so we did load up here just a little bit. I also got more armor, I got tungsten armor, a full set of that, as well as getting some more coinage. So yeah, I built this a little arena so we can go ahead and do some boss fighting. I've got the King Slime and I've got Eye of Cthulhu planned. So this arena should help out just a little bit. It may not be long enough, but if not, oh well. We're gonna go ahead and try it anyway and try our luck. First up, I wanna go and try the King Slime after this. And he'll be our gauge to see how we can do the Eye of Cthulhu because they're roughly the same size, roughly the same strength anyway. So I figure we can go and make that possibly work. I'll do that once in the morning, so we're going to do a little time skip in the meantime to go ahead and get ready for that. First up, we're going to have the King Slime on tap. Now, I don't know how this is going to work out with this platform. He may teleport all around, so this may or may not work out too well. But we're going to go ahead and give it a shot anyway. If it we're lucky, he'll go ahead and drop the slime out, which would be really helpful. Especially now, since we don't have much means of getting around. So, we're going to go ahead and summon him. Wherever he shows up, or spawns. Hello, hello, King Slime, wherever you're at. Okay, there we go, he teleported right up on a bridge. So we're gonna have the Ruthless Amazon give us a hand on this. Definitely doing pretty sizable damage, but those slimes... Ooh, those slimes with the spikes, they're gonna be a pain. Okay, well, I didn't expect these guys, this must be an expert mode thing. Okay, there's the teleport, but oh, he's down there below. Okay, this may actually kind of work out, didn't anticipate that. Alright, well, this actually may work out really well indeed. I didn't really plan for this, but hey, you know what, if we could stay up here and just dodge him like that, they work out to the best. And look at all them slimes down there, holy crap. Those guys are looking very angry, but you know what, they could stay down there. I've got three grenades in my inventory right now, but I'm gonna go and save those for the Eye of Cthulhu. Hopefully, they'll work out really well. But yeah, this guy's gonna be a gauge, and it looks like we're gauging really well right now. I know, it's a little bit of cheese right here, but you know what, we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna roll with it. Go ahead and take advantage of it while we can. Hey, it's expert mode. There's gonna be plenty more challenges to come, so I ain't worried about it. But hey, you know what? As long as he stays down there and doesn't teleport up here, that's all really good. Looks like his hit points are almost gone. Yep, and all those little buggers down there. Holy crap. That is a whole fleet of slime down there. Yeah, definitely not wanting to mess around with that. Well, there was the teleport, but unfortunately he didn't go anywhere. Unfortunately for him, that is. Well, he could have easily came up and surprised me, but, well, that's his loss. And go ahead and whittle him down. There we go, there's that lovely treasure bag. Yeah, now, just trying to get down there is going to be a whole different story. Wow, that's a lot of slimes. And those spiky slimes are not very forgiving, it looks like. Alright, so just get you guys out of here. Come on, get out of here. There we go, and come on. Come on, little buggers, come to your doom. Your impending doom, there we go. Let's go ahead and slaughter them all right down here. There we go. That's right, get out of the way. I've got a treasure bag waiting for me. Nope, nope, ain't having on your spikes. There we go. All right, nice and clear, nice fresh loot to be taken. And now, let's go ahead and get our reward. Hopefully, did we get a slime out? Okay, doesn't look like much in here. All in a treasure bag. Okay, well there we go, there's... Our royal gel, okay, that gives us friendly slime, may be useful. Then we have the ninja outfit, well, at least missing the chest, there's our mount. Yes, okay, well, we'll go ahead and put this on right now. I don't want to get too comfortable with it, because I don't want to be too familiar with another series I've done. Slime hook, yes, that's got more grapples, so we'll go ahead and switch that up. Definitely more grapples is more good. There we go. Also... There is that, so we'll go ahead and put that somewhere. But yes, we can make the slimes very friendly now. There we go. Move over the extendo grip. Not like we need it active. Yes, now we can just walk right by the slimes without any worries at all. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so I think this went pretty well. This could bode really well for the upcoming fight with the Eye of Cthulhu. We'll see how that works out. I know he's got a charge, so I think that's the one thing that worries me. While I was exploring off-camera, we did get the boots, the Hermes boots, so that way we will have to put them to good use, most definitely. Now, I did this before all getting ready for the battle. I went ahead and did all that, so that way we won't have to grind out a couple more episodes. 
So, of course, we didn't get too much, but we got just enough to get ready for the whole battling bit. Go ahead and put some of this stuff away now in cold storage. Because you never know when you may need it. This is on medium core, by the way, so yeah. If I die in a horrible spot, I'm going to have to roll back on previously used gear in order to get, if I can, the gear that I lose. So hopefully we have none of that nonsense. Alright, and I think that just about does it. I'm going to go ahead and waste some time here in the meantime till we go ahead and get ready to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Off camera, I went ahead and got a few more things set up. I've went and put some sunflowers down below, spread out just enough to go ahead and give us the nice happy buff. That way we can go ahead and move, and to a lesser extent cut down on monster spawn, as well as put up some campfires here to go ahead and keep up the slow regen because it can help out no matter what. So either way, it should come in pretty good handy. So this is going to do it. This is going to be our setup for the Eye of Cthulhu. A lot of you guys have been giving me some heads up about how this goes. So... With the Ruthless Amazon, we're going to go ahead and try to take him down as time slowly approaches. It's going to be something. Of course, the loot he drops is the Shield of Cthulhu. Something pretty cool, to say the least. So I'm looking forward to getting that. We'll go ahead and put that to good use. I've got Iron Skin Potion on me, just in case to buff up the defense. And I think... Wait a minute, did I even get the Eye of Summoner? Oh, goodness, there goes the Blood Moon. Okay, of course, it had to be a Blood Moon. Now, I don't even know if I want to do it, but I got to go back and get the eye, the suspicious looking eye to go ahead and do the summons. Now, I do have more lenses, so I can go back and make more suspicious looking eyes, but we only got one right now. All right. Yeah, we may as well go ahead and do this. We built the arena. We got everything set up. No point wasting it. Get out of here, buggers. Oh, it had to be a blood moon, of course. It always seems like no matter what, we summon him on a blood moon. There we go. Get out of here, you. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and drink them potions really quick. There we go. And where is he at? Oh, okay, there he is. Never mind. Came out of the top right. All right, here, have some grenades. Or don't have some grenades. Well, that was a bad idea. Did they take anything out? I don't even know if they did any damage. Oh, well. Looks like it's going to be up to the Amazon now. Okay, yeah, no, this guy does spit out a ton of eyes. These things are mostly, mostly unpleasant, but... Okay, come here, you. Go ahead and try to avoid these things. Ow. I think if we can go ahead and do this fight with the minimal damage, we may be able to survive this. Okay, so many eyes. Get out of here. They're mostly the annoying part. They did buff them up from regular mode. It seems like now spitting out more eyes. Whoa, okay, yeah, these things start to get a little bit out of hand. But it seems like his health is going down pretty quick with the Amazon, so... Let's see how this progresses. Kill some of these guys. Try to keep the spawn to a minimum. Maybe this will help, but I... Oh, there we go. There we go. Second phase. All right. All the eyes gone. We got one more eye left. Whatever. Can we kill it? Oh, no. There's more eyes. Oh, God. All right. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them real quick. And stay still. There we go. Well, I'm trying to get Star Fury to work out, but I don't know if this is working out too well. Well, killed the eyes really good, but... All right. Come on. Stand still, bugger. All right. Come on. Oh, there, there we go. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, he does like to charge. All right, come on. Come right into my Star Fury. There we go. Ugh. Okay, not looking to play with that too much. All right, seems like the more health he loses, the more he's doing it. That shouldn't be a problem. Come on, there we go. That's why we have the Hermes boots. Let's go back to the Amazon and try to just keep him at a distance here. Oh, dodge you from there. Yeah, it seems like the Amazon's working out really well with the eye. Come on, bugger. I know once you get into lower health, you're going to be doing this all the time. There we go. Again, we've seen like we've got this under control. As long as we don't get too close with him. There we go. Keep him at a distance. Okay, all the charging. All the charging. Come on. Got him at a relatively safe distance. I think we can make this work. Almost there. I can't even, I can't even see his health. He zooms around so fast. But I know we're doing damage. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. And we got the achievement for doing it. Thank you. There's that lovely treasure bag. So, it wasn't impossible. I don't want to say it was too difficult, but it was definitely challenging. But, definitely, definitely a lot more fun than the first fight. All right. Go ahead and clear this up just a little bit here. Then we'll go ahead and get our Shield of Cthulhu out. Plus our other loot. I know we got some ore in there as well. We got some Demonite ore. We got to go ahead and smelt down. 
There we go. Oh, yeah. There's that lovely shield. There is... A, oh, we got the trophy over there, too. Okay, equip you. Yeah, we don't need that royal gel now. We got the nice shield. Get out of here, you. Oh, yes. We've got unholy arrows. We've gotten seeds. We've gotten ore, and we've got our trophy. Very nice. All right, I think what I'm going to do next is, as we try this out, I'm going to go ahead and try to make a couple more suspicious-looking eyes. Try to farm him for some ore and make some progress. Who knows, may even get some things to get ready for the Eater of Worlds. But this is pretty cool, to say the least. I like the shield, and I like the challenge it offered. So we're going to go ahead and do it a, a few more times. Right now, on the way over to the Corruption, to go ahead and make a couple more suspicious-looking eyes. So this is going to be... Yeah, I'm going to try to go ahead and grab some parts over here. So we can go ahead and get some things for the Eater of Worlds. Don't have any plans just yet. Again, I want to go ahead and take the eye out a few more times. But at least I want to go ahead and get ready for the Eater. That way, we can go ahead and take him out relatively soon in the future. Without too much delay. Of course, we got to find the big tunnel here, which is going to be all the way down. This little subterranean setup they have for all these abominations. Yeah, no, those guys over there could stay over there. There we go. So we got to go ahead and find a way to make the pickaxe to grab some of this demonite ore. But, in the meantime, let's go ahead. There we go. Couple suspicious looking eyes. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Of course. As soon as you go ahead and go for the craft, they got to come in and go for the kill. So let's go back. Make them eyes. I got enough for two of them here. Then, let's go ahead and grab some more of this. Come on. There we go. Grab some of that good stuff. That's right. Try to get some more material. I know we need some powder, and I know we need some parts here. Some fleshy parts. Some rotten flesh. We go ahead and make those bits. Anything else over here we can actually find as well? We've got plenty of orbs. If I had dynamite, go ahead and blow those orbs up and get some stuff. But unfortunately, it does not look like we have dynamite, so that's a problem. Even bombs. Bombs will actually help here, too. But I do not see any bombs. Okay, well... That's a thing. I can clear these guys up. Sheesh, they're everywhere. Oh, goodness. There, there's that worm. Okay, yeah, no. He's got 200 hit points. Not wanting to deal with you. Come on. There we go. Did I get that loot? There we go. Well, he's got the coins. Whatever. Oh, there we go. We got the worm. We got the worm tooth. What is a worm tooth, really? Anyway. Oh, so we actually got some moon glow in there as well on the way over. We had to pass the jungle, so grabbing the moon glow will help out just a little bit. Okay, a couple of squishy things down here. Just a little squishy squish. A couple more altars. Actually, it's like a ton of altars down here. And, okay, there. Take a look at that. Ah, nice. Okay, well. Yes, indeed. Now, if we can get the rest of this armor, it'd be great. But unfortunately, I don't know if that's going to happen. It may take a while to grind out. But at least we got the headset. So, at least we got the head ancient shadow armor. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit there. All right, kill you, and of course, rotten chunk, but nothing else. All right, I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and try to farm out the shadow armor set, but at least we can go ahead and get a few bits and pieces around here. And then we'll go ahead and fast forward once again. Well, I was going to teleport back, but then I found that the ocean was over on this side, and along with the ocean, we've got a pyramid, so I'm going to go ahead and investigate this pyramid over here. Yes. Actually, it's kind of cool we reached the one side. Right by the ocean, and there lies a pyramid. Oh, what good things lie down here. Even if it's just a vanity set, it's nice to get something out of these things. Of course, flying carpet would be really good, too. Be awesome, but I don't know. Okay, there we go. Is that gold? I do believe. Yep, that is a couple gold coins. All right, whatever. Oh, there we go. There is the flying carpet. Okay, awesome. Get rid of the claws. Okay, all this good stuff. We're going to... Yeah, let's just loot all and grab it. Very nice. Of course, time is slowly running out, but at the same time, go ahead and grab that chest. Go ahead and grab the rest of this. It's currently 7 p.m. So let's just go ahead and explore the rest of this real quick. Let's see what kind of cavern lies down here. You never know. May find something really good at the bottom of this. And then, okay, now it's nighttime. So once we explore this, we'll go back, summon the eye, and be done with it. And, yeah, nothing down here. Okay, that was a bit of a bummer. But, you know what? At least we found that. What was down there? Still, flying carpet, pretty dang awesome. 
Got our trophy hanging up from the first Eye of Cthulhu. Okay, get back up here, and let's... Hold on, hold on. Totally forgot my iron skin potion. Gotta have that iron skin. Okay, grab you. All right, whatever. Anyway, let's go back. Go ahead and do the summon real quick. Time is flying. It is not a being of the essence. Let's summon you. Oh, he came out with authority. Oh, God. Oh, God. I forgot to switch over to my weapon, so I left it on a mirror. Oh, come on. Guy, do you want to help me? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Okay, damage control. Oh, damage control. There we go. Oh, God. Just got to get some damage control in here. We'll be all right. Go ahead and smash a couple of these eyes. There we go. Come on. Got to get things under control. There we go. All right. Oh, gosh. All the flooding of these eyes. Eyes are everywhere. Eyes are upon you. All right, once we get him to the second stage, I think he stops spawning them, so they won't be an issue then. Come on, get out of here, you little buggers. I mean, they're good for health. Go back and grab that health, too. There we go. So that way, it does help out a lot. Smash you. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh, God. Even after he spun out, he spit more eyes out. Eyes are everywhere. Ay, ay, ay. And smack you around a bit. Come on, there we go. He's gonna watch out for that big charge. He'll be doing them big charges here soon. There we go. Okay. Right, now we got things under control. I'm gonna just keep you at a distance. Come on, big boy. And fake him out. There we go. Very nice. All right, we almost got him down. Up oh, here we go. Now he's kicking in high gear under a thousand. Yeah, no, we don't want none of you. We just want to go ahead and get your sweet loot again. Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, he's putting up a fight, that's to say the least. Oh, God, he is keeping it very close. Nope, nope, ow. At least he's not doing a ton of damage. His armor did help out. Come on, come on. Get back here, would you? And now he's, there we go. Oh, come on. All right, just keep bouncing around. I don't care, ow. There we go, finally. Start to get on my nerves. Oh, more treasure bag, more shield of Cthulhu, more good stuff, more ore. Let's go ahead and slap another one out real quick, and then we'll get what we can get. All right, you know what? This guy's a little bit harder. There we go, finally. Maybe it's me, but it seemed like he was getting harder the third time around than the first time. Maybe I'm just wearing out and getting weak. Either way, all right, let's go ahead and make space for the shield. Either way, we've got plenty of chunks. We're getting ready for the Eater of Worlds. It'll be coming up soon as we go ahead and move right along.